Hi everyone, today we will look into two popular methods of reinforcement learning, upper confidence bound and the thumbs sampling via social media marketing campaign click through rate optimization. So what is reinforcement learning? It is a type of machine learning that enables an agent to learn in an interactive environment by trial and error using feedback from its own actions and experiences. This video is based on my original article, Reinforcement Learning in 31 Steps. Here we are. This is our dataset, Social Media Ad Campaign click to Rate, CTR. The above data are the 10 versions, types of social media ad campaign, and if the user click label as 1, else 0. From the above social ad campaign, we are not certain which one is performing better or deriving the traffic. We wish to find which is the best ad that works the best, that is, maximize our returns. One way we can do that is by knowing the distribution, and we can have the distribution of data like people have clicked ad or not after clicking thousands, thousands, thousands of times of ad. One alternative way to approach this is to do the A-B test on 100 ads or multiple A-B test and wait until you have a large enough sample and conclude which is the better. The problem here you will have is you'll be spending a lot of time and money on the A-B test. They are purely based on exploration and not exploiting the best option. Even if you are exploring the best option, you will also be exploring the non-optimal option. Thus, A-B tests are only best for exploration. So UCB is an appropriate and quicker way to explore the best from the rest. The UCB algorithm. The way algorithm works is by rewarding the ad version of each round the user click. Here we will define the number of rounds as that is the rows and data we have of the campaign then D equals to 10 refers to the number of ad versions we have it in the campaign. Next, we will create a loop to calculate all of the rounds and the versions of the ad. That's it. Our results are stored in the ads underscore selected object and we and if we open the ads underscore selected object, we will see for each round denoted as index selected the predicted ad version. First round, the algorithm selected the first uh, ad version. Then we go down and down to the last round. We will see more of the fourth ad version is selected. See, the algorithm is learning itself the best option by rewarding each ad version in each round. So now we can easily say that ad version number four is better than others with the highest conversion rate. Let's visualize it. And we can see it's the fourth ad version is the best optimal option of ad version to use for the marketing campaign. Next is Thompson sampling, another advanced version of UCB reinforcement learning. UCB will produce results more similar to an A-B test and we have seen above while Thompson sampling is more optimized for maximizing long-term overall payoff. This means UCB is very straightforward. We only look at the upper confidence bound value and the algorithm takes which one has the highest value. However, in Thompson sampling is a probabilistic algorithm that is far more appropriate in handling the randomness. UCB requires updates at every round, but Thompson sampling, we do not have to update at every round. They can accommodate the delay feedback. Take an example of social media ads where you have thousands, thousands of clicks in the UCB. You have to update the algorithm each time it gets an update. That is computationally expensive. However, in Thompson sampling works batch-wise, like when you get 500 clicks, update the algorithm, then 1000 clicks, update the update, then uh, 5,000 clicks, update, and the algorithm works just fine because it's a probabilistic algorithm. 
That's one of the advantage of the Thonson sampling. So Thonson sampling is considered to be better than the UCB. Let's visualize and compare. Well, we can clearly see the difference in the output. With the clear evidence, Thompson sampling performs better than the UCB. Thanks for your time. I have put the video resource link in my description below. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more updates. Have a good day. Bye.